yeah. Here's the model. <laughs> That's my nice. I've just been drawing her um, on this little notebook that Susan made for me. I made a couple of drawings of, of midnight so far this morning. One is on another little video, but I felt it was so quick that there was hardly any point in posting it. So I'm going to do a, a bigger drawing of her here. She's in the same position, which actually, to be honest, is a bit tricky. But um, I'm just going to go for it anyway. It's quite good to become curious and just study uh, the shape of things. And here it's really, you know, the ears that offer structure early on. I'm just going to half close my eyes actually and um, do my best here to locate the dark sunlight that will make mm, I deleted the last video because um, Maisie was making lots of noise downstairs and I suppose I was a bit embarrassed really I feel like um, I should be able to kind of oh I don't know I thought it would sound like I was kind of um, really ignoring her and which I kind of did for the video. And then I felt a bit embarrassed after listening back at her kind of making all this noise, wanting to get out. So I've been downstairs now. It's her second time out today. But then um, I just let her out of the crate and given her some peanut butter. So and one of her wee toys. So I'm just finding the areas of shadow here. In the hope that it'll eventually, like a jigsaw, marry up and make the feeling, give the, give the feeling of the um, shape of the of midnight line down here. I mean, like a jigsaw, because it's like you're fitting the dark and light pieces together to create the form. And there's a place too for outline, so I'm going to just finish the outline of her there. And where she meets the blanket, it's just across from her ear. But here where, she, where the blanket meets her body. Nicely nestled in. One of these days I'll do a, a drawing or a painting of Maisie. She does settle quietly and we have lots of quiet time together as well. Long walks and yeah, you know, she's good really. She can pick her moments though. Usually when I'm trying to film something she'll start to get uh, I should I should touch wood there now and not jinx myself because actually she's been great just now. It's, it's maybe when she hears my voice, I was thinking. Okay. I was listening to somebody on YouTube talking about animals. There was an animal kind of whisperer or somebody who can communicate with animals. She didn't call herself a whisperer. And uh, it was really a really lovely thing to tune into, to listen to that. And one of the things I've been noticing um, people talking about is the capacity animals have to really enjoy life I suppose you know just to kind of rest into it and with them um, this is this is a cue now for Maisie to start whinging <laughs> but you know they have the capacity to really um, chill out and be present I suppose that's all they have the capacity for like they don't they don't think ahead or news over the past I suppose that's my interpretation anyway, maybe they do. Actually on that um, programme I watched, one of the parrots was really, really upset and the woman, the woman who um, was doing the channeling kind of thing said that it was because the parrot missed 
missed the owner so much. The owner had to emigrate or something and left the parrot in the bird sanctuary. And like the lady channeling was in tears at the grief of this parrot. So I suppose the parrot was remembering that. Anyway, cats have a capacity to chill out. And if you look at a cat for any length of time who's in this chilled out state, it kind of by osmosis <laughs> begins to become your state as well, I think. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm just filling in all. The, I'm actually making the hair grow in the direction that it is growing, you know, in the in my drawing, in the hope that I'd be able to create the feeling of the form of the head that way. But really, I need to get the tail in now. <coughs> See, There's a couple of whiskers there. <coughs> right, half closing my eyes. Really establish the darks and lights. Tail there. So the snow is doing the opposite of what I was doing there, and I'm turning the pin the other way and putting it in the opposite, in the opposite direction of hair growth. That sometimes works as well to create a feeling of three dimensional form because you get the 